The Blue Jays and the Orioles have a key matchup here. Toronto is a favorite on the road, but it is slight. It's only minus 116 on the Blue Jays in Baltimore. Highest total we've seen so far with the games we're talking about at an eight and a half. How do you figure out this one? Give me the O's on the money line here. Making them one last stand here. All trying right. to make the playoffs through the wild card. Let's see if they can win this. Braddis should be on the mound, but he's got a high XFIP. Here's, now again, one of those correlations which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. 4.80 XFIP, which isn't very good over the past month in Major League Baseball. But take a look at his splits, Kevin. 36 batters he's faced from the left side. Keep in mind, Braddis is a right-handed pitcher. A 261 weighted on base percentage. How about this ISO? Zero. Fantastic stuff. But as we know, You're going to get primarily right-handed batters here for the Toronto Blue Jays. But he's been really good against right-handed batters as well. A 282 weighted on base percentage coupled with a 136 ISO power number. If we flip it over to Mitch White here, he hasn't fared all that well. His XFIP in the mid-fourth, which isn't great, but take a look at his splits, Kevin. To lefties, a 371 weighted on base percentage, and to righties, a 378. Now, if we take a look at the anticipated lineup today for those Baltimore Orioles going up against right-handed pitching over the past month for a six guys, how about these ISO power numbers? 229, 190, 236, 198, 200, and 200. Keep in mind, 175 or above is a very good ISO power number. I like that light price on the Orioles today at home. Give me the O's to knock off the Jays. Radish has had his issues with this Toronto lineup, mm-hmm. but Mitch White has been vulnerable since becoming a Blue Jay this season, pitching to an ERA above a seven. So perhaps some juice as well in this baseball game here, as we reference that total is an eight and a half.